you, you said in there that you obviously were a little bit in shock about the fact that this could all end mm -hmm. in your hometown, mm -hmm. in your home state. How have you not let that become a focus and a distraction? You know, um, I have experience in this tournament, so that's one thing I'm trying to keep my routine, say, you know, one game at a time, like Coach says, and it's great that I have support in the stands. I'm going to have a lot of people on my pass list and all that good stuff, but uh, it's still it's one game at a time, and that's what I'm trying to compete for with my team. Coach said he didn't know if you can be uh, especially qualified to handle this, but your personality is pretty pretty solid. I mean, not, not a whole lot of ups and downs from what people tell me. Do you think that's helped you in this? Yeah, I think he's prepared me, and, you know, we talked about Edgar earlier. He's definitely prepared me for, you know, being patient, waiting on the game to come to me, and having a positive attitude and, you know, taking advantage of opportunities that come my way. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to stay focused and be poised like a senior should be and lead those freshmen. Back in, back in high school when, when Edgar was coaching you in, in his club, what were some of the ways that he really pushed you and challenged you to be a better player? Um, well, I talked a little bit earlier about I used to be the meanest little girl. Like, I would just <laughs> pout on the floor, and, you know, I've really grown up from that. And he showed me how to do that. You know, he sat me down and was like, you need to let people feel like they can play with you and make the people around you better. And that's something I've really tried to embrace. And, you know, my freshmen get a little crazy, and they have all this energy, but sometimes they get so, like, frazzled that I can't get into my shell. You know, I have to tell them, hey, next ball, you know, stay aggressive do what you've been doing all season and try to make them more comfortable. So I think that's the biggest thing is just leading and knowing when the, you know, someone needs the extra pat on the butt kind of thing. Do you feel like your relationship with him is, is unique as far as player-coach relationships go? Absolutely. Um, the fact that he played um, pro and he knows the game of volleyball so well, um, he, he definitely got in my ear at a young age and was like, you know, if you want to do this for a long time, you want to be around the best players in the nation or country, you have to be... At a high level, you have to stay stable. You have to be a leader. You know, you you gotta be, you gotta be someone that people want to play with. And um, you know, he he taught me a lot of patience, and it helped me. It's helped me a lot in my career. He said he told your mom your sophomore year at Memorial that you had the potential to play for Team USA, play on the national team. Did you have that kind of high expectation for yourself that quickly? Or was that something you've kind of just seen as your career's gone along? Yeah, I, I as a sophomore, you know, I was committed to Tulsa. And so I didn't really give myself much room to grow. And, you know, getting more exposure and different coaching and seeing how I developed as a player, I was like, here at the All-American thing, which is going on before um, we play, I was here and I was like, I want to play on a stage like that one day. So, um, you know, my coach left and that whole thing happened and kind of unfolded, but it put me here. So, you know, it's definitely something I've kind of fell into and I'm like, you know, I should have high expectations for myself. I should high, have high expectations for my teammates. and. I think that's one thing that has helped me get to where I am. When your folks decided to move from McAllister to Edmond, mm -hmm. it was all about volleyball. Yeah. I mean, there's a, and that's that's some pressure on you and your sister, I would imagine. To, okay, yeah. you got to go out there and make the most of this. But I mean, was that the case? Did you feel like I got to really do this thing? No. Or okay, I mean, we moved. It was more. I loved the game. I was so young. I was like, cool. I get to bounce this ball around and like, yeah. you know. It was more about the passion for the game at that point because I was young. I watched my sister be a competitor on the floor. And um, it just kind of grew into like, you know, I, I want this for a long time. And I knew that. Um, so when I got some exposure at the club level and the national level and I was going to USA stuff and I started getting colleges looking at me, I was like, wow, I can actually do this. You know, this is, this is within range for me. So, um, yeah, like I said, it kind of unfolded. Your sister told me yesterday, though, she's still does a little pinch of herself when she sees you out there and realizes it's, how this is all unfolded. It's weird, and that's the thing is uh, a lot of credit goes to my family. You know, I grew up around the game, and my sister taught me a lot. And, you know, she's always like, I'm so proud of you, my sister. I'm like, I wouldn't be here without you. You know what I mean? People like people like that close to your heart, you, like, you don't want to let them forget that.